This is Real 3. I just want to state that all of my videos are Creative Commons. You can distribute them, upload them, download them, edit them to whatever your heart's content. My apps online are always free, ad-free, light apps. Check it out, 143 Agape Apps at Google Play. All my apps are open sourced. There's never any advertisement in it. And to show my non-biased, uh, Joe's Radio on Google Play streams Alex Jones, the far right winger, and also streams KPFA, one of the local uh, uh, radio stations that uh, many, many of the DJs reside here in Berkeley. So go check out my app, Joe's Radio. You can catch Alex Jones and K KPFA in one app. So we started at Sprawl Plaza, where uh, Yvette Falarka started her antagonistic uh, chants at Joey Gibson and, and his band. Uh, we end up in the empathy tent having a little bit of dialect with uh, Yvette outside doing a lot of chanting. Uh, Patriot Prayer has then since marched uh, up Telegraph and up to People's Park, where we stand on the stage of People's Park. We have uh, anti-fascists on one corner of the stage. He's giving his free speech, and he's unimpeded by, by the uh, Patriot supporters. The Patriot supporters are on the other side of the stage, and they've had their free speech. Uh, since the events of Falarka has been arrested, uh, there's pretty much been peace. No, no people pushing each other. The cops have not even had to separate people since they arrested Yvette Falarka. And that, that should speak volumes to the American public who are watching this. If we get those who incite riots, we get them out of the way, and you, you learn that there are no riots. The majority of people are peaceful on both sides. Yeah. Well, in these situations, not like hijacking. Not if I'm just walking down the street, no. Here, a little quick selfie with Patriot Prayer. Here I was looking forward to speak. <laughs> I was gonna spend my time talking about how Black Lives Matter. Bullshit treat out. Nelson. I'm sorry, I almost ignored you. Got my head. Well, I've seen him a lot. Yeah. He was uh, with uh, San Francisco. Yes. And then we went on our virtual. I've, I've seen you at a few events, maybe on YouTube or something. Uh, do you have your own channel? My name is Marco. Yeah, I, just Marco. I might be subscribed to your channel. I just I, I know your face. I've seen you. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there, there's a lot been going on. And then, man, the overall thing I want to point out, it's a divide and conquer. Are you a, are you a streamer? Uh, man, I, I would, but, but I'm not live right now. I, I used to stream, but yeah. I got Wi-Fi only, and the campus shut their service off as soon as the event started. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it, like, the network was still broadcasting, but it, had, it stopped allowing traffic. Oh, look at you all decked out. That looks good. Yeah, at uh, right about 1.45, the uh, public campus Wi-Fi, uh, it stopped uh, allowing traffic. Uh, I, I was uh, up in the middle of uploading a video, and it, it got cut off when that, when that happened. I don't know if you're on the left or the right, but it's all about fucking getting I, along and fucking not disrespecting I, I recognize that all presidents are selected years before they're put into place. They're bought out by the money powers. Yeah, except for, um, except for this one guy. Um, yes, they do. Get it out of the sun, dude. Get it out of the sun. When you try to tell them that even Trump is a puppet, they, they don't want to hear it. Uh, here we got Vice News. Uh, man, I love what's come out of Vice News. A lot of non-biased, on the ground, just just footage, raw footage. I may not agree with all the opinions of uh, every reporter from, from any media outlet, but Vice has definitely been on the ground getting their people to, uh, to events across the world and uh, revealing the truth of what's going on. It was one of my first alternative media sites that I subscribed to. Uh, I have not seen Tim Pool. I've not seen Luke Wadowski. 
but uh, no doubt you will see this on the internet. You, there's many of streamers, many of uh, many people out here recording. I like I like risk taking, so I don't I don't have issue. My thing is I like having some. But the bottom line is why we're here is to be able to do this. And at the end of the day, I may walk away and have a completely different of opinion than you have. But but what we're seeing across this country is the left, not not liberals, not all liberals, the the, the far left trying to shut down speech if they don't agree, and name calling and victimizing and and doing this this division. So we're we're basing everything. Are you black? Are you Hispanic? Are you are you male, female? Now are you transgender? Are you, we should all be Americans. That's that's what we're pushing for. Individual liberty. Individual liberty. You can you can make the choice to live however you want as long as you don't harm somebody else. But don't force me to accept your. And I'm not saying you are, but I'm saying what I see across this country is this, this idea that that if if you disagree with me and it somehow offends you. Very fake you news right is live right now. I know you guys won't see this till later. So you might be watching his feed right now as it goes. But we should be able to come if you haven't, please, please subscribe to Very and, Fake and News. I'm sure you've heard of him, but if you haven't, give him a subscribe on YouTube. God family country, and, and God is love. And so, I don't see the hatred. Of, and once we do this, all of that goes away. But, but we allow the media, we allow uh, the, the elite in this country, the, 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 the corruption, to divide us instead of bringing us together to have it's, I'm actually saying this is this is actually beautiful. We have people on both sides who are having open dialects without fighting each other, without name calling. It's uh, that's actually what coming to a college uh, should be about. You know, I went into trade school. I was blue collar, but uh, when you go to big universities, that's that's where you're coming out of your sheltered household, where your ideologies are challenged, where where you know your safe space is invaded with other ideas. Uh, the minute it becomes violence invading you, then then defend yourself. And, and I'm sure everyone uh, at this event right now would side with any victim of actual physical violence. It's, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know why don't we, we don't see Andy Greenwood actually on the ground at these events. Uh, and this is, this is to Andy. I, I want you to, to come out to one of these events and speak. Uh, take your badge off. Come out, come out when you're off the duty uh, as a citizen. And, uh, you know, let us, let us know what your, your views and opinions and, Were you enslaved? If you could, you would revert it back to the Were days. Were you enslaved? Yes. 
You know, you know it personally. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Since y'all coming to Berkeley, you're missing because you're judging the best game for each other. How can two people talk at once? You trying to confuse the issue? That's all right. My mother waited in line too. Men like me would have fucked him over. So we got one guy with a Trump hat here, and he's willing to take this uh, brother out for a drink who, who says he doesn't drink. He's trying to shake his hand. The, the brother refuses to shake the guy's hand, calling him racist. Uh, I think that's a big double standard. I have a USA hat on, by the way. That kind of shows the, the hypocrisy. Uh, that, that, that's definitely a double standard. Where he accuses him of being racist, hating, hating him, but he won't shake his hand. Uh, he won't, he won't accept a drink from him. That's, that's a very hypocritical double standard that, that we just witnessed there. I'm gonna see what's happening around here. All right, what's your shirt say? I love sarcasm, like punching people in the face, but with words. I like that. <laughs> Words are not violence. And I, I am correct. You are the one that came out to see Milo the first time. You you, you weren't out here to see Milo. I was the first time he showed February. Absolutely not. I was out. Okay. Well, I've seen you on YouTube. Uh, I've something. I've been at the MLK events and stuff like that, but I never did the Milo. The actual, the last Milo event I was at, but not the very first one. Okay. I've well, been at, I've been at March Fourth. I've been at all the other Berkeley events. I'm the one who actually threw the Say No to Marxism event. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, where I saw your video. Man, I I support you. I support your okay, free thank speech. You. Thank you. We have the right to disagree on many things, but as long as we're not violent and infringing on each other's for. rights. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't happen every time somebody comes and these people should be screaming at people. Just, we should be hearing both sides of the story. And our side offered to let them talk and let them talk, and then they don't want anybody here talking. I don't understand the I'm, logic of it. I'm going to be honest, most of the people on that hard ideology, because they're so hard communist, most of those people aren't here right now. The hard lines? Like most of the, the Antifa, they use like closed Facebook pages to communicate. Uh, oh, they, well, they, a, all of Antifa's black bloc has been told to stand down until November 4th. Oh, so you won't see down. them until November 4th. And then November 4th, they plan a mass occupation everywhere. So you could hope they rest them all, put, um, them in, put, them, put them in. I don't jail. want the right to spin that into they plan on coming out and beating up everyone on that day. Oh, they're, they're coming out. They're, coming they're, violent, they're planning a mass occupation of that day. So don't. It's don't city, don't trashy, that's okay. well don't don't listen I've, I've already heard reports that they're gonna come out and try to beat up uh, Trump supporters that day and like let's not further that division yeah that what what everyone on the street here is saying is they're planning a mass occupation that day I've heard nothing about yeah I've heard nothing about them coming out to beat people up starting in but LA where they're blocking freeways already and we're still in like the end of September they're gonna have fun they're gonna have fun with me. Well, what I was told by black bloc members here on the street uh, is that it's a mass occupation. They've stood down until the fourth and then they plan a mass occupation. They also say they plan uh, physically marching on the White House. They're probably not gonna get within ten bucks. That's their that's their right. That's that's their right. I, I, I wouldn't infringe upon it. It'd be hilarious if they tried like jumping fence or something. Like then they just get shot and something by sniper. See, I, I came out of the left uh, marching with Antifa in the Eric Garner, Michael Brown thing. As soon as it turned violent and, and riots, I looked at Yvette and I said, you're okay with this violence? You know, I was, I was live streaming too. And I turned to her and she, she rolled up her banner. And then, her face, yeah. well, she rolled up her banner, the peace banners and everything. Yeah. The minute Antifa came out, right when the sun set. And that's when everything got turned into riots. And I said, you're okay with them breaking bank ATMs? You know, this was about police brutality. And she, she, and it's like, if you want to break the bank ATMs, do that in an anti-banking protest, not in a police brutality protest. Do, do they want, like... They and, and if you're talking about police brutality, what about the police on, on white brutality? You know, it's... it's white people get killed by police, black people by a large margin. Yes, and, and last year, 16 unarmed black men were killed by police. Well, over 2,400, 2, you know, over 2,000 uh, yeah. black brothers were killed by their own race. It's their tricks is they, you, they omit facts, like, they omit facts, they mislead. Like, well, so. I hope you realize it's the, the lower people who believe these things, yeah. they're not the ones spreading those lies. You know, it's the 
George Soros and his handful of people and the, the Yvette Falarkas who are who are spreading this poison. You know, your your average liberal Antifa person is just misled. And it's open dialogue that educates them. Yeah. Just, just uh, curious, like, do they, like, do your former, like, guys want you, like, you know... Well, I was never a family. part of Black Bloc, BAM, or Antifa. Oh. I have marched side by side with Black Bloc in peaceful actions. Oh. The minute it turns violent, I, I, I have no part in, in that. So you don't feel like they're going to target you or anything? Uh, no, I, I, I'm a homeless here on Berkeley, and I know them. Oh, okay. uh, I know Mike Wilson, Yvette Forlarka, and... Out of the political scene, I love these people dearly. Uh, but, you know, I, we can disagree to disagree. And Yvette probably now sees me as an enemy. Yeah. I'm getting looks the last couple days. People are calling me a fascist. Well, I'm anti-fascist. Yeah, more more I don't like that checkpoint at Sprawl Plaza. Yeah. I don't like that. I know, that's, uh, that's, that's so screwed up. But I know you're not a fascist because you're wearing a Trump hat. I'm not an ignorant. How are you guys doing? I'm, just, I'm doing all right. I'm Casey, a non-medic on YouTube. Non-medic? A non-medic. Yeah, 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 hashtag a non-medic. I think I, I vaguely remember uh, you. Anonymous yeah, medic. Yeah, I think I remember you a little bit from April 15th. Like, I was there April 15th. Yeah, I think I saw you helping someone out. Like, I got caught up in, like, I was, I was, um, I was running with all the Trump supporters at the Antifa. Well, there was an Antifa who had a red shirt around his head. He got oh, his yeah, nose I busted. I was, I was there. I saw that guy. He, uh, uh, he got knocked down and someone took a shield and then... Like they start screaming, get off them, get off them. Yeah, I, I actually got a lot of views on that video. I'm not, I'm not here for views. Uh, well, mine was the only video behind the smoke bomb on Antifa side. Uh, all the other live streamers were on the Patriot side of that rush. I was the only person on the smoke bomb side of it. Uh, so I, I got a lot of views for that. My name's Owen. Owen, that's me, man. We've been having a little bit of dialect. So I wanna, I wanna, I come out to spread, spread the truth that this is a divide and conquer tactic. Uh, so you know, if I don't talk to people, then how am I gonna spread my message? Uh, how are people gonna gonna wake up? How are how are leftists gonna become more centric? How are right wingers gonna become more centric if I don't say something? So that's what's bringing me out here to talk. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Remember, all of my videos are Creative Commons. You have the right to download, distribute them however you wish. All of my Android apps are ad-free and open source. You have the right to download them for your own personal use. This is a hashtag a non-medic on YouTube and Twitter. And we are coming from People's Park, Berkeley, California. Let's see what. Pendejos, fuck you, racistas. Pendejos, fuck you, racistas. Pendejos, fuck you, racistas. We got Berkeley's great street artist. And he has his freedom of speech. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. He's a big friend of mine, actually. He calls himself Ronald Reagan. Uh, he's a street artist. He, he does great art. And he just hates Trump, pretty much. He loves California. He loves California. He's very patriotic. Yeah, Ronald Reagan is his name. So who's the sons of Hitler? I don't think there are any here. Uh, so he's not talking to us. No, no, but he he uh, he he believes that there are actual Nazis coming here because that's what half of this town is misled to believe. Yeah, I haven't seen a Nazi since uh, the what 1940s. Well, fighting people who think like this is not the way to wake them up. Like actually educating them. Trying to support the American flag on the back of the cat. Because he, he's very uh, pro-American. He loves America. He loves it. He came to this country from a shitty country that didn't have opportunity. So he's just confused on who the sons of Hitler are. Sounds sounds that way. I'm not gonna speak for him. I don't want to speak for him. No, the signs pretty much speaking for him. And he's, he's speaking for himself. My wife would be able to I use my tablet and Google Translate when we get in real, real hard dialect where I can't uh, understand it. But, uh, so my wife's Brazilian. He's working on changing murals in the Berkeley Inn. It's a half a block from here. It's an empty lot. Yeah, when I, you're, you're a local, right? Okay, well, I was with uh, first they came for the homeless.
uh, against the two by two square foot rule. He was our he banner. Worked. He was our banner artist. I noticed his work. I covered that. Yeah. I noticed his work. That's where I met him. That's where, like, yeah, he he's like a brother a, to me. He makes a big contribution to uh, homeless. Yes. Yeah. He's homeless himself. See, it's a class war. They want to make a left versus right and a race war out of what essentially is the 99 versus the one percent. Yeah, he's right. Uh, we got uh, minutes coming up on this reel, so I'm going to cut and go to the next one.